Welcome to Good News Today. And Caroline, we have a special show today and a special guest. Yes, we do. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this show coming up. Welcome to Good News Today with Bob and Caroline Scott. And now, here's Bob and Caroline. Hey, welcome back to Good News Today, and I am excited. Uh, I'm always excited about on Good News Today. I, I am. I am. Uh, you know, God is just doing wonderful things, and I, I just sense uh, a very unique presence of the Holy Spirit today. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I believe that God is going to minister to some folks at home. So uh, what I encourage you to do, if you know somebody that needs a touch from the Lord right now, I'd encourage you to pick up the phone and Call them and tell them that they need to tune in to, to the show right now because uh, I have a feeling God's going to do something for them or perhaps you too. And who doesn't want to hear good news? Yeah, you know, everybody amen. needs some good news. Amen. You know, it says in the Word of God that we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And, and, and that really is what good news today is about, is sharing powerful testimonies, how, how God has come in and transformed lives and, and mm -hmm. taken the impossible made it possible if you will and and turn it around and, and you know to see all the different folks we've had on the show share and, and yeah. hear their testimonies it's been incredible i mean it yeah. really has yeah it's been inspiring absolutely absolutely just hearing you know the things that people come out of and yes. then on the other side is jesus yes amen know? amen and, and they're new amen and, and, and we're blessed we have a, a lady on the show today uh, her name is laura swan she's uh, with Just One Ministries, and, and she has a very unique ministry that, that, that is really reaching out and, and making a difference in young women's lives that are uh, just really in very dreadful situations. But before we get into that, Laura, first of all, welcome to Good yes. News Today. We're, we're blessed to, to have show. you on the show. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the wonderful opportunity to be here. Amen. Amen. Tell us a little bit about your, your background and, and what God has done for you. You know, you're, you're just a common person like we are, you know. That's exactly and right. That's yeah. what, what the Lord does. He takes common people and makes makes them something really special out of them. Yes. Ordinary people do extra, extraordinary Amen. things for God. Amen. Amen. Right. Um, just, you know, uh, Catholic background and, um, you know, there was a 17-week uh, revival at uh, Evangel World Prayer Center and um, my mother took me to that and I got saved and uh, the Lord was dealing with me. I was watching uh, Jesus of Nazareth and I absolutely fell in love with that movie. So mm -hmm. he was already, you know, dealing with me with my heart. I was receptive at that time. And so when she took me to the revival, I was so hungry for the things of God. And, you know, the, the Catholic faith, they really taught me how to love God. Yes. But I really Amen. didn't know Jesus. And so um, I got saved there and um, at Evangel. And I always knew I was supposed to be at Evangel. Yeah. And so, you know, life will take you on different paths. And, you know, I got married at 18. and. Um, in December, we will be married 31 years. Oh, wow. Wow, and, congratulations. Um, thank you. And so my husband was in the service, was in the Army, and we traveled, and we came back here, and, and I knew we were supposed to go back to Evangel. And so, um, you know, I'd done some things before Pastor Bob hired me to be a staff pastor. And uh, so, you know, I had ministered at the Lord's Kitchen for three years. I was a chaplain at um, Teen Challenge. Mm -hmm. um, for three years as well. And um, that's where I really had, uh, the Lord started dealing with me mm -hmm. with the hard nuts to crack, the ones that were really difficult. We mm -hmm. had, you know, drug addicts and prostitutes there. And mm -hmm. I really fell in love with them as far as having compassion for them mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. really not judging them, but just really wanting to, to reach out and, and to somehow, you know, let the Lord, watch the, the Lord work in their lives yes. and use me. And however, you know, I've always just said I was a vessel that said yes. yes. And so I've just always allowed him okay. to use me however he, he chose to, wherever I was most effective. And so I'm very grateful that um, for the church that, I'm a, uh, you know, one of the district pastors there for Pastor Bob seeing uh, things in me that maybe I didn't see in myself. And mm -hmm. so I really yeah. appreciate um, the leadership and to be under the shepherd like Pastor Bob Rogers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he does have a way, you know, <laughs> of, of, of making you feel like there are, and there are things that you can do that you yes. didn't really think you could, you know, but I remember when I first met Laura, there was just something about, something about Laura. There was, she just, yep. I, I see that passion on you for people, you yeah. know, and that love of Christ in you. You really exude that. And um, your ministry that we mentioned is, really reaches out to, like you said, those, those hard nuts to crack or those mm -hmm. situations that are devastating. Tell us about your, 
your ministry? Well, um, it, it started, you know, like I said, at Teen Challenge, uh, when I had to minister to the prostitutes that would come there, because they would get on drugs, and so they would come there to um, try to get off drugs. And those yes. of you who don't know about Teen Challenge, it started with David Wilkerson. Yeah, I was ask yes, you to and it's that. it's um, you know a drug a drug and rehab, but it's Christian based. Mm -hmm. And so that's you know the Lord. It was a miracle how I even got there. I was on a fast and a uh, forty day fast, and I was on my twenty eighth day. And to make it short, I was behind a lady at the fair, and she said she was thirsty. So I turned around and said, Hey, would you like a half frozen water? And <laughs> she was the director of Teen Challenge. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> and she said, We're looking for somebody. So the Lord had just had it all worked out. And so, but from there, I just, um, you know, I was praying about going on a mission trip. And, you know, I knew that I was called to human trafficking, but I really didn't know in what aspect. And so when the Thailand trip opened up, I knew that's where God had called me to go. And, and you really feel like when you're there, you really feel like you are in hell, the streets, because of the sure. uh, of things that you hear about. When you actually see it and you're there, your heart goes out to them. And, you know, you, you just say life doesn't have to be like this. And we worked with an organization called Wild. YWAM, uh, Youth with a Mission, yeah. and they had a, yes, mm -hmm. and they had a place there called Tamar, and they would teach mm -hmm. them how to do nails and hair. So it would give them uh, something to do besides, you know, that, besides to sell themselves. And um, so it's it's you know we're going back uh, the team, and um, you know God's opened up great doors for us to go and, and minister to them. And uh, we're also going to be doing a conference in church and. So God's really doing some mighty things in that area. It's not something you think that you would yeah. want to do, but you know God uh, knows where you best fit, and He knows where you'll where you'll be most effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know I just don't think that people know the severity of mm -hmm. human trafficking, and, and even in our own country, it's here every twenty every twenty seconds yeah. a girl's trafficked. Yeah, and every just, wait, let, let's let's let that sink in for a second. Mm -hmm. Every 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Every 20 seconds. 20 seconds. A girl is trafficked. Somebody's daughter. Somebody's daughter. Somebody's granddaughter. That's right. You know, somebody's right. little girl that is then becomes not even, you know, a, a human to, to whoever is abusing them. You know, it's just, um, mm. it's something you can't wrap your mind around. You really can't. It starts small. Like what ha when I say that, what I mean is they'll go to the malls and they'll recruit girls in the malls. They'll use other girls in, in uh, high schools to recruit other girls. Uh, maybe a boyfriend is, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, trafficking her that way. Or sometimes they'll start in a strip club, mm -hmm. and then before you know it, they end up becoming trafficked. Let's hold that thought because um, we're going to talk even more about this. We're going to take a quick break, pay sure. the bills. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Good News Today, and Caroline, it's a it's a somber show uh, today. You know, we, we're very blessed to have uh, as our guest on today's program uh, Laura Swan, who is involved with a ministry called Just One, and they're really reaching out to folks that are involved in, in the sex sex trafficking industry, mm -hmm. and it's it's a uh, I don't know the word I, I, I can come up with, but it's it's a uh, yeah. It's a prevalent, mm -hmm. too prevalent industry that's going on right now in our country. And unfortunately, it's, it's other people that are helping to fuel the industry uh, and make it as, as successful as it is. And it's, thank God, there's people like Laura out uh, doing uh, what she's doing to, to combat it and, and stop it from happening. Because, you know, one of the things that I found out recently is that in, in Louisville alone, I think it, it, it ranks in the top five. Uh, cities in the country, mm -hmm. you know, where sex trafficking actually is happening and you know, the sex industry. I know there's about 26 or 27 uh, strip joints I think uh, we have here, more strip here in, clubs in Louisville. And unfortunately, that's where a lot of this is, is centered around is, is that industry. And, and it just uh, goes back to the heart of man, you know, where uh, money is uh, can be, be, be a blessing, but it can also be the root of evil. And uh, where there's an opportunity to make a quick buck, that's where you see these types of things start to uh, s actually come up. And, uh, 
you know, it's, it's just, you know, we as Christians really need to be standing in the gap and, and, and doing uh, the things that we need to be doing as far as addressing this, because it is a problem. And, uh, you know, Jesus uh, in his earthly ministry, and I said it time and time again, but if he were to come back, he would go to the uh, very places that I think a lot of Christians try to avoid. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, I think a lot of people, and even Christians, maybe are completely oblivious or think, I can't go there. I can't reach out to that person. That's, you know, that's too evil there. Or, mm-hmm. But those people, that's where Jesus would be it is. if he was walking here today. Yeah, and we know yes. Jesus is alive and he lives in us. Yes. yes. And that's, that's the key point. He's here. You know? he's, he's, he's here. He was walking but, on the But streets. if he came back and started his earthly ministry in again in the flesh, <laughs> That's that's where he would be going because that's who he ministered to is the, you know, the prostitutes okay. and, and the, broken. The, the broken, broken people, the liars, the cheaters, the adulterers, the fornicators. Yes. That's who he ministered to. We're called to go on the highways and the byways, not where it's comfortable, mm-hmm. not where it's convenient, where it's hands and his feet. And so yes. we just obey him and every person has a call where they're supposed to be. And I never thought that this would be, you know, where I was called to, to reach. But um you know, I'm, I'm, you were talking about how prevalent it is in, in Louisville itself and um, what, you know, Kentucky Derby, which, mm. you know, we're known for that, yes. Kentucky, and the, the greatest two minutes in sports, they say. And mm-hmm. But it's a high time for trafficking yes. around that time. So That's what I, heard. Um, I haven't announced this yet, but I'll, this is this is where I need to announce it, is Amen. that uh, in April, before we have all the Derby festivities, I'm calling all women from every churches to come and be a part of prayer for justice yes. and righteousness, and it's going to be on the waterfront. And oh, so this wow. is the first time I've mentioned it. But if the women will show force together mm-hmm. in our city, and there's power and unity, and mm-hmm. say that we don't want this in our city. Amen. Yeah. And prayer is powerful. Prayer is where, where we change things on right. our mm-hmm. knees. That's where the work gets done first. Yeah, and I've also heard that the Super Bowl is is a mm-hmm. huge it is. time for that. And that blew me away. I, I think I was oblivious. You know, you think, oh, this is happening in other countries. and But it is here. It is know? here. But you mentioned your trip to Thailand. Tell me just how you felt when you first, you know, I know you said you didn't think that this is, you know, that God had called you to do this or you didn't think you could. But when you first got there, just how did you feel? I mean, what? Shocked. What did you see? And Huh. And you saw what you said was evil. It know? was very evil. I felt like it was, I felt like I was in hell. And I mean, I just for the first two days that I was there, we were there ten days total. And I just I had to write home and say I really need prayer because this is very disturbing. Mm-hmm. How they would you know just let their wives and some some are married and mm-hmm. you know some were when we walk in the streets. I saw girls that even with full makeup I knew they were twelve years yeah. old. And I just I was so my I was, my heart was broken. But the Lord says I've called you here to minister to them. So the last day on our trip that stands out to me. What um, I, I ended up getting the interpreter, which I was so blessed to have the whole time we were out doing the street. And um, when I went to go minister, there was a, what they call lady boys. And lady boys, um, they take boys and raise them as girls so they can prostitute them out. And they go as far as to give them breast implants to look like girls, in which you can tell they're not. And so I went up to one and I went to go pray for him and I was sharing uh, the gospel with him. And uh, he said, does she know what I am? And I looked at him and I said, yes, I do. And I don't care. I came here all the way from the United States of America mm-hmm. to pray for you. Mm-hmm. And he just said, he kept, he said, fire. He said, I just oh, feel fire. Oh. And then we threw his hands up and said, what's wrong? What did he say? <laughs> she said, he said he felt fire and it was the fire of God. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's the anointing that breaks mm-hmm. the yoke. And so Hallelujah. my heart goes back to there. Um, you know, I have one of those uh, bar girls because uh, we, you know, we taught English as well to them while we were there. Mm-hmm. And um, one of the bar girls was on my Facebook and some of the pictures and stuff. I just said, Lord, I, I don't want to see that. Mm-hmm. He says, don't you dare take that off. He says, because I want you to see it as mm-hmm. a daily reminder to cover them in prayer yes. every day. Hallelujah. So when I minister to her and she can get the translation and I told her, go to Tamar, go yes. to church. So I'm talking to her just from the other side of the world, just with Facebook. So Facebook can be used. And you're planting a for, seed. Yes. You know, so yeah. Absolutely. And she knows I'm coming back. So I, she's thinking about that. Well, I'm going to see teacher again. That's what she calls me, teacher. <laughs> yeah. And um, he mentioned that your your ministry is called Just One. And I think that's just such a great name. Tell us about that. Just Just One. Yeah. Just One. Um, I was praying about a name. and I didn't want to name it what I wanted to name it. I wanted to name it what the Lord wanted. And 
because uh, because you know you think am I am I doing any good? You know, am I helping anybody? And the Lord says, if you just save just one, because you know He mm. He He goes after the one, you know, the ninety nine. You know, yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's where that came from. And so I just said, well, all right, Lord, that's what I'm going to name it. Just one. If I can save just one, just one. then I've done something. There's in, in the Bible somewhere it says that the angels. I, I, I don't know the the verse, but mm -hmm. the angels praise over just. Yes. Just one Unlocking. soul. You know, yeah. that's what you were just saying. Yeah. Yes. But yes. that's just so beautiful because that's what it's all about, really. It is what you it's know? all about, making a difference, doing what we can. And, you know, we, 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 uh, it starts with one person. One person can make a difference. Mm -hmm. and, they, and when they see a light, you know, in all yes. that darkness, they see a light like you. That gives them hope. It does give them hope. Absolutely. You know, Jesus said that he's the way, the truth, the life. Yes. No man comes unto the Father but, but by Him, yes. mm -hmm. you know, and it's just, uh, a, you know, as simple as calling out to Him, no matter where you're at, what you've done, mm -hmm. where you've been, uh, Jesus is, is there and He's ready to, to accept you just as you are. Yes, yes. and yes. make you new. <laughs> and, and, and make you new. If, you know, it says in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, mm -hmm. any man be in Christ, he's a new creation, Old things pass away. Behold, yes. all has become new. That's right. You know, we unfortunately have to take another quick break, mm -hmm. uh, but we want you to come back, Laura, and share a little bit more. You know, about. In fact, I, I, we're going to have you pray for some folks at home that I have a feeling we're actually talking to right now with regard to this entire subject. This very important subject matter. So. Would you yeah. come back and, and <laughs> agree to pray with some folks? Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless you. Stay tuned. We will be right back with Laura Swan, Just One Ministries. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Good News Today, and it really is a, a, sh a show it's, it's, that is about the good news mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ, you know. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have life everlasting. And, mm -hmm. and, and there is hope. You yes. know, there, there is an out, and, and that out is Jesus Christ. And uh, We're blessed to have Laura Swan on the show today from Just One Ministries. Uh, sharing her testimony and what her ministry is about. And Laura, um, I just know that there's some folks at home right now that, that may be actually in the midst of, of, of the sex trade. And what an evil industry. And it's an industry that's, that's so uh, abusive, you know, to the basic quality of human life. Yeah, or anyone that, that, has, that is in sin or, or, and, and thinks, I'm done. This is it. I, God can never use me. You know, and, and you said the right word because you think of, uh, you you know, you think about in the Bible where it talked about um, the prostitute that uh, let Joshua in, and he couldn't get in or out if it wasn't for her, Rahab. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't, yeah. she, yeah. yeah, she she was a prostitute, yeah, and God used her. She was the bloodline of Jesus. Well, I was going to say <laughs> that's one of the cool stories because Rahab is part of the bloodline and the genealogy Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, and, and it's ooh, ooh. Yeah. I, I, I remember the first time I realized that and, and saw that, I was so moved and blessed to see that, that God, again, no matter what you've done and where you've been, That's right. you know, I think of the story of, of the woman that was caught in the act of adultery and yes. was brought to Jesus and uh, they were, you know, they were trying to, the scribes and the Pharisees of the day were trying to, to trick him and trap him. and. You know, in, into they were going to stone her. They were going to stone yeah. her, yes. and, and they were wanting him to to do that. You know, to say, oh well, yeah, she under the law, she deserves death. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but his, you know, in Jesus's precious way, perfect he said, response. <laughs> perfect response. Said he is that sin, let him cast the first stone. And, and they said the old, from the oldest to the youngest, they dropped their stones because they realized that, that, that yeah. they, are, they they have sin in their lives too. Thirty-two. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Would you mind praying with some folks right now? I just feel I led sure that, that uh, there's some folks that need some prayer right now. 
Well, Father God, we thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your Hallelujah. power is the same yes. today, yesterday, and forever. Lord, you yes, know how to oh reach God. down Hallelujah. the crevices of somebody's heart, Lord God, where they're hurting, Father God. And I just yes. speak to you right now. Those of you who are thinking that there's no way out, yes. God knows holy, how to come in there and holy. save you. If you'll just cry out That's to God, beautiful. he says, if you cry out to me, he says, mm -hmm. I will incline my ear to hear you. Yes. So he hears your yes. cry today. Those of you that might be in trafficking today, there is hope. God knows yes. how to make a way of escape for you. Yes. So it's yes. not too late. He loves you right where you are. You have to, oh. you have to catch a fish before you clean it. Mm -hmm. Father God, I thank you that you're reaching out to the airways today, Lord God. Yes, oh that God. you're reaching out to people, oh. Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in people, people yes. that are not just in sex labor, but there's people yes, that are Lord. even addicted to pornography. Yes, oh God. And Father God, I know you can break that. We break the spirit of pornography in Jesus' yes, mighty in name. Jesus name. Where there's pornography, there's poverty. Yes. And we break that today in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Be healed for the glory of God in Jesus' mighty in name. Jesus I pray name. for their mind to be healed. I pray for them to be delivered yes, today oh God. in Jesus' mighty name for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 And Summon you, your mind, your yes. mind, your your mind cannot be free. And I bind that today. Yes. That you are a new create, yes. a new creation in yes. Christ. That old things passed away, like He said, and all things become new. Yes. And that you yes. are to wash your your mind with the Word of God. Hallelujah. You can have the mind of Christ. So we thank you, Lord God, yes. for their mind can be clear and made whole because their mind. You said in your Word, if your mind is fixed and stable yes. on you, that they'll be walk in perfect peace. So we yes. thank you, Lord, today that they are walking in perfect peace, yes. Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in Jesus' mighty name, for yes. the glory of God. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, amen. Lord. Amen. I, I just know the Lord has touched somebody. Real, real quick, Laura, if somebody wants to get in touch with your ministry, what's the quickest way to do it? Um, Laura.swan at ewpc.us. Amen. Right. Amen. And, and yes. as far as our ministry, Caroline? Yeah, our ministry uh, is scottfamilyministries.org. You can go to our website. We have a link for prayer requests. Yes. Um, that we for sure will pray for. And we're also on Facebook, Good News Today, and on Twitter. Amen. So, Amen. Yeah. I'm glad you Reach got that all us. down. And <laughs> people, we just love you. We love you. Th this show is just about you and, and just letting you know that, that there is hope. You know, Jesus said He is the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by Him. And all you have to do, the Bible says, if you confess Him as Lord and believe in your heart, God raised Him from the dead, you'll you be saved. Be saved. You will be saved. Not you might be saved. You will Not be might. saved. <laughs> so, anyway, we love you. Know that. Be sure to, to, to just keep hanging in there. The, the good news is Jesus is for you, not against you. We have a little uh, tape from uh, Third, day. Third Day. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time.